Hello, this is time speed and distance lesson 4.2. In this, I will discuss questions on train. This is in continuation with lesson 4.1. Now, in this lesson, there are four questions, and the concept used in these four questions I have already discussed in the previous two lessons. Now, for each question of this lesson, you should first pause the video, try to solve yourself, then look at the way I have solved. You have to solve using one of the options. Either you can solve with a concept, or option, or logic, or assumption, using one of these at a time, or maybe more than one of these at a time. Now, first question says that two trains running in opposite directions with a speed 60 km per hour and 48 km per hour cross each other in 10 seconds. Now, trains crossing in opposite direction. Opposite direction trains are crossing. Now, when two trains cross each other in opposite direction, distance traveled. Distance traveled is equal to length of both the train. Length of, let's say, faster train and length of slower train. Now, distance is always equal to speed into time. Speed, when two trains are in opposite direction, will be speed of faster train plus speed of slower train into time. Distance is speed into time. Now, we don't know the length of the faster as well as slower train. So, LF plus LS, speed is given to us 60 and 48. Speed of faster is 60 plus 48. Time is 10. Now, this 60 plus 48 is kilometer per hour. This 60 plus 48 is in kilometer per hour. So, I will convert this into meter per second. 108 kilometer per hour into 5 by 18 into 10. Why I convert into meter per second? Per second because your time is 10 seconds so this given 300 meter will be the length of both train that is length of faster plus length of slower train this is equals to 300 meter second statement say that if two trains had traveled in the same direction now trains are traveling in same direction a person sitting in the faster train would have overtaken the slower train in 36 seconds now, same direction, this is second situation. What be the distance traveled? Now, person is sitting in the faster train and that person is overtaking the slower train. Now, distance traveled by that person to overtake the slower train as I discussed in the previous lessons, distance will be the length of the slower train. This is distance, distance is speed into time. Speed is how much? Speed of as two trains are in same direction, speed of faster minus speed of slower, that is the relative speed. Time is given to you as 36 seconds. This is length of slower. Speed of faster minus speed of slower. Faster is 60. Slower is 48. So you get 60 minus 48. This is kilometer per hour into 36. Convert into meter per second. This is 12 kilometer per hour. 12 into 5 by 18, I have counted into meter per second into 36, this is 18, 2, 2, 5 is a 10, 10, 12, 120 meter. It means you got the length of slower train. Now length, length of faster plus slower, both train is 300. So length of slower train is 120. So by common sense, length of faster train is 300 minus 120, that is 180 meter. So in this way, I have solved this question. In exam, this question won't take more than 40 seconds to solve this question i have solved with the help of concept as you can't solve this question with the help of logic or it may take more time the best way to solve this question is the help of concept second question a train 500 meter long traveling at 108 kilometer per hour crosses the driver of a slower train traveling in a direction opposite to it in 10 seconds. Now, first thing here to understand that two trains are traveling in opposite direction. So, I'm just writing opposite direction. This is first situation, opposite direction. The speed will be added, rate of speed. Now, train crossing a driver. Train is not crossing another train. Train, faster train is crossing the driver of the slower train. Whenever the train crosses the person, the distance travel is equal to distance travel is equal to length of faster train. 
faster train crosses the driver of slow slower train so entire faster train will cross the driver of the slower train so length will be the length of faster train that is given to you as 500 meter now what is the distance this is distance distance is speed into time now what will be the speed speed of faster train is given to you as 108 km per hour but speed of slower train is not given to you so speed of faster train is 108 km per hour I am solving here speed of faster train is 108 km per hour you need to convert into meter per second this is 108 into 5 by 18 meter per second you will get 30 meter per second here I have solved in the smaller circle so distance is speed into time speed would be what trains are traveling in opposite direction speed will be speed of faster train plus speed of slower train in meter per second into time time taken by faster train to cross the the driver of the slower train is 10 seconds given to you so 500 is equals to speed of faster train we already calculated 30 plus speed of slower train into 10 here you got 50 is equals to 30 plus speed of slower train so speed of slower train ss is 20 meter per second so first thing you got speed of the slower train as 20 meter per second now what the question says that find the time taken by two trains to cross each other if they travel in same direction if the two trains travel in same direction distance travel is equals to length of both the trains as i discussed whether the two trains cross each other in same or in opposite direction distance travel is equals to length of both the train so distance travel is equal to length of faster plus length of slower train this is distance distance is speed into time speed will be speed of faster minus speed of slower relative speed will be faster minus slower as two trains are traveling in same direction time we need to calculate is, let's say t is the time so now what is the length of faster train length of faster train is 500 length of slower train given to you 700 meter in the previous case in the first situation we have not used the length of slower train because faster train was crossing only the driver so speed of faster minus speed of slower that is 30 minus 20 meter per second time is t this is 10 into t is equal to 1200 t would be 120 seconds so in this way your answer is 120 seconds will be your answer that is a choice number fourth so in this way this question can also be sold in exam under a minute this question i have sold also with the help of concept this question i also sold with the help of concept as it won't take more than a minute to solve third question is train p takes 60 seconds to cross another train q which is 400 meter long now a train is crossing another train q length is given 400 meter long and q speed is given 36 kilometer per hour now two trains are in opposite direction first i will write opposite direction two trains are in opposite direction now when two trains are in opposite direction distance traveled is equal to length of both the train length of train p plus length of train q this is distance traveled distance is speed into time speed will be as two trains are traveling in opposite direction speed will be speed of train p plus speed of train q into time time is into time now let put the values lp we don't know length of train q is 400 meter 400 meter now speed of train p we don't know the speed speed of train p speed of train q is given to us 36 kilometer per hour now convert don't write this in 36 because it's very important to convert the kilometer per hour in meter per second units must be same in the entire equation here i'm taking 400 meter so speed must be also in meter per second so 36 kilometer per hour this 36 kilometer per hour is would be how much 36 into 5 by 18 10 meter per second i'm straight away writing sq as 10 meter per second into time given 60 seconds so you simply get 
एल पी प्लस फोर हंड्रेड लेंथ ऑफ ट्रेन पी फोर हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टाइम स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन पी प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज द इक्वेशन नंबर वन सेकेंड सिचुएशन इज दैट द सेम ट्रेन पी टेक्स वन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स टू क्रॉस ए साइक्लिस्ट नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वेन एवर ए ट्रेन क्रॉस ए साइक्लिस्ट और ए कार और ए पोल और ए पर्सन द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल इज इक्व टू लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रेन स्पीड विल डिपेंड ऑन द सिचुएशन नाउ इन दिस केस सेकेंड सिचुएशन ट्रेन क्रॉस ए साइक्लिस्ट ट्रेन क्रॉस ए साइक्लिस्ट वट विल हैपन द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय ट्रेन वेन एवर ट्रेन क्रॉस ए साइक्लिस्ट डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल इज इक्व टू लेंथ ऑफ ट्रेन पी बिकॉज ट्रेन पी इज क्रॉसिंग नाउ दिस डिस्टेंस दिस इज स्पीड इन टू टाइम नाउ वट बिल द रिलेटिव स्पीड साइक्लिस्ट एंड द ट्रेन आर ट्रेवलिंग इन सेम डायरेक्शन सो स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन पी माइनस स्पीड ऑफ साइक्लिस्ट एस सी स्पीड ऑफ साइक्लिस्ट बिकॉज रिलेटिव स्पीड विल बी फास्टर माइनस स्लोवर साइक्लिस्ट इज ट्रेवलिंग एट अ स्लोवर स्पीड टाइम इज गिवन टू यू लेट्स अ टाइम इज टी न पुट द वैल्यूज एल पी इज इक्वल टू स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन पी वी डोंट नो एस पी स्पीड ऑफ साइक्लिस्ट इज अगेन गिवन इन किलोमीटर पर आर एटीन किलोमीटर पर आर इज फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड द टाइम इज गिवन टू यू वन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स सो एयर यू गेट एल पी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन पी माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड न पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एल पी एंड कैलकुलेट द इक्वेशन I am putting the value here, LP value in the first equation. I am putting the value of LP in the first equation. What you will get? One twenty speed of train P minus six hundred plus four hundred is equals to sixty times speed of train P plus six hundred. So you will get sixty times speed of train P is equals to minus two hundred is equals to eight hundred minus two hundred plus six hundred is equals to eight hundred. So speed of train P would be forty by three meter per second that is the speed of train p now once you got the speed of train p you can easily get the value of the length of the train p that was a bit difficult question and many a time these kind of question can also come not every question important to understand not every question in the exam you can solve under a minute some question may take one and a half minute or two minutes so that was this question this question will take definitely some time even if you will try to solve with the option it will take a long time now we got the values of speed of train p as 40 by 3 now put the values of speed of train p and you get the final answer what we need to calculate we need to calculate the length of train p put the value of sp here put the value of sp in the second equation i am putting the value of sp here in this equation now lp was एल पी वॉज वन ट्वेंटी आई एम पुटिंग स्पीड एस पी वैल्यू फोर्टी बाय थ्री माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस विल गिव यू थ्री फोर्टी दिस इज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड लेंथ ऑफ ट्रेन पी एस थाउजेंड मीटर थाउजेंड मीटर इज योर फाइनल आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज योर फाइनल आंसर सो इन दिस वे दिस कैन क्वेश्चन कैन बी आल्सो सोल्ड इन एग्जाम in around 1 minute this won't take much time i have explained that's why i have taken that much time here is a fourth question two trains a and b running in opposite directions crosses a man standing on the platform in 24 seconds and 16 seconds respectively and they cross each other in 19 seconds what is the ratio of the speed of the train a to the speed of train b now train a talk about train a train a whenever train a crosses the standing person on the platform the distance traveled will be length of train a distance we know that speed into time speed of train a we don't know time we know that time is 24 second this is the equation number 1 train b also crosses the same person in 16 seconds so whenever train b crosses the person standing on the platform distance traveled by train would be length of its own length of train b speed of train b this is distance distance is speed into time speed of train b time is given to you 16 seconds third situation given that they cross each other in 19 seconds let's assume that they are crossing each other whenever two trains cross each other 
in opposite direction distance travel is equals to length of both train la plus lb distance is equals to this is distance this is speed into time speed will be speed of train a plus speed of train b into time is given to us 19 seconds to put the value of la and b this is 24 s a lb value is 16 s b multiply this 19 s a plus 19 s b this you get 5 times speed of train A is equals to 3 times speed of train B. Speed of train A upon speed of train B, you will get 3 is to 5. So this question you can solve in exam under 30 seconds. So answer is option number C. That was all about lesson 4.2. In next lesson, I will continue with more on TSD. Thank you.